The first step is to uh, make the base. So here we have the base and you'll find in your kit uh, one of these uh, arms. And what you want to do is you want to take uh, like wire cutters or scissors and cut these pieces off. Then uh, all you gotta do is simply attach it into the base like this and then screw it. After that, what you want to do is attach the servo motor. So you simply place it on there and then you have to screw it in. Now that that's completed, you should be able to, it should be firm and you should be able to turn it back and forth. The next part is attaching the top. So, what you first want to do is line this up, like so, so that the screw terminals are lined up. So you can see from here, as well as uh, back here. So, what you, what you do, is you take a screw, um, one of the longer ones, actually, Simply uh, place it in here, and then you can place the other one in here. So it should look like this. Next, you just screw it in. Be patient, because this does take a while. Now that's complete, uh, next up is to attach the, one of the sides. So you'll find in the kit, one of these arms is just a single side sticking out. What you gotta do is just cut this piece off with your wire cutter, and then uh, pop it right into the side. Next up is to simply uh, pop this in, then take a screw and screw it in. No, that, that's, as that's complete, make sure it's solid and can move back and forth. The next step involves uh, piecing together the base plus the sides and the top. So, you simply place this on here and take the other side and uh, place it in there. And then you'll see uh, by holding it down, you can then pop this together. Like that. Now it should be snapped into place, just like this. Now that that's completed, the next step is wiring the breadboard. So the first thing you'll find uh, on the turret, it comes with uh, the yellow and white wires. And in the kit, you'll also want to cut off the red and black wires. So you, what you want to do is you want to take a couple pins right here, stick it in here, and then with the breadboard oriented such that when you look at it, the one is on the top and the 30 is on the bottom in terms of rail, you simply stick this onto one and two with the white wire on the very edge. Next up, you want to add a transistor right here. Uh, you want to add the, the left edge of the transistor right onto rail two of the breadboard. Then you want to take a wire right here and simply connect between rails one and five. Now that that's completed, the next thing you can do is connect the cables from the base. So as you see, there's a top cable and a bottom cable. So orient them so that they're both, so that the orange is to the left and with the bottom cable on the right, then you want to take uh, more pins and just stick it under there. The next step is to then simply place it on rails 6 to 11. Now you're ready to start wiring to the Arduino. So now to start wiring to the Arduino, the first thing you want to do is wire the power and ground. So here's a, a black wire preferably. All you should simply do is attach it to ground on the Arduino and attach to the ground rail on the breadboard. Which is normally designated with a minus or a blue or black line. Then you take a red wire, uh, attach to the 5 volts 
and put it onto the power rail of the breadboard. Designated by a plus or a red. Now you're ready to uh, wire the components to the analog and power. So the first thing you do, you take a color wire, for example yellow, and you stick it right on pin 3, or the middle of the transistor, to A2 on the Arduino. After that, you take a red wire and connect it to pin 4 with the end of the transistor and connect it to power. Then you take a black wire and route pin 5 or rail 5 to ground. Now you're ready to connect the cables to power and Arduino. So first of all, take a different color wire like orange and connect it to rail 6 in this case, which is the start of the first cable from the top and route it to A0 on the Arduino. Then, pick a short red wire and route pin 7 or the middle of the first cable to power. And then, take a white or black wire, connect to rail 8, which in this case is the end of the first cable, and connect it to ground. Now repeat the process with the second cable. So take like an orange wire for example, connect to pin 9, uh, which is the start of the second cable uh, on the orange wire, and connect it to A1 on the Arduino. Next, take a red wire and connect from pin 10, or the middle of the second cable, to power. Then, take a white wire or black wire and connect to rail 11 or the end of the second cable and connect to ground. Now that you've wired everything, there's one last part. In your kit, you will find a laser with a blue and red wire. Simply solder the blue wire to a black jumper cable and the red wire to a red jumper wire. And the end result will be like this. And uh, you'll simply want to use heat shrink to solidify it. Then, take the red wire and connect it to A2. Take the black wire and connect it to ground. Now, the last part is simply connecting the turret to the top uh, with tape or hot glue. And take your laser and place whatever you want. I prefer to do it in the side. And then you are done.